Hey guys, Alush here for another Gundam model review, this time on a smaller kit, a super deformed, or rather old super deformed actually, uh, Shars Zaku 2 from the original Mobile Suit Gundam. And it's uh, one of those older super deformed kits that, you know, have no legs, just the feet, straight attached to the waist section and everything. But uh, it's still a pretty good kit. Um, let's see, we got the, as far as stickers go, we got his little emblem there in the chest that I put. Um, another one here on the shield and beyond that you do get a mono eye sticker but I painted it pink instead and uh, nothing else really that's uh that's it not a huge amount of stickers for such a small SD kit which is good a lot of its color corrected on its own so very little painting um, I just panel lined it and did that little messy red back here way back when and then that's it no other painting is really needed um, articulation is pretty good. I mean, the arms can, well, this one arm, just the left, um, can move forward for the spike shield. I guess you can ram people with it. And uh, arms can rotate all the way around. They can rotate at the elbow. Bend at the elbow. About nigh much. And the wrists can rotate. Only so much. And, uh... Head can move up and down ever so slightly, just a wiggle really, and it can go side to side, not too much. And waist can rotate a tad, only about that much. Uh, the right arm shield can, whoops, it can rotate a bit, wiggle a bit, that's about it, doesn't do anything else. And the feet can go up and down, rotate all the way around. That's better. It's a ball joint. So that's all its movement. Um, what else we got? That's it. That's it for articulation. Very basic articulation. Uh, the mono eye can move, and as an extension, the top here, the headpiece can come off, and you have the little gold and silver pieces in there that I painted. And the mono eye, you have to move it manually, uh, just like that. It can go all the way to the side. And all the way back around if I can. There we go. So that's pretty good. Nice little gimmick. Now for weapons, uh, Sharzaku does come with actually it's uh, a fair amount of weapons for itself. It does come with three long range handheld weapons. Uh, a bazooka here. It's pretty good. It's got two scopes that I painted red. It came all in black. Um, another bazooka with one scope that I came. It came all in black. Um, the Lazaku machine gun with the red scope I painted and the rest of it again came all in black and it does come with the heat hawk axe that came all in black I painted the bit of yellow there it's pretty nice kinda hollow on one end oh well and they all go into the hand pretty nicely although he can only hold two weapons at once so you can hold the uh, Zaku machine gun it has to, one end has to be in the um, in the arm, since the big butt of the gun is too much for him to hold normally. But there you go. There's a uh, there's Char Zaku or Char Zaku. Sorry, I still have a tendency to pronounce the C. And the shield here is actually uh, I forgot to mention it's movable. It can move all around. But that's pretty good. It's a good little kit. Kind of outdated, but you know, it's still pretty good. Does come with a plethora of weapons. Very good amount. You have the two bazookas you can give to uh, other SD kits if you so desire. So, beyond that, good kit. Um, not so much painting, which is rare for an SD. So, I definitely recommend it. And that's it for this review. Pretty short. I'll see you guys all next time.